here I've got a really interesting problem with a wireless parking system. Here's how it works. In a typical scenario, you would have a camera installed in the back of your vehicle. You'd have to run connections to your reverse lead, ground it, and you'd have to run in a video cord up to the cab of the truck so that way you can get video signal between the two sections. Now, on a truck like this, even if it's just a short bed, six foot, it can be quite a drag actually getting a wire from here underneath the bed rails and through the frame up into a grommet inside. It could be a little bit of a job. So here's some of the advantages of using one of these wireless bits. And I'm also going to show you at the end of the job how it actually looks so you can compare it to my factory screen compared to how it looks with the wireless screen. So you're going to have a real comparison. This here is the actual screen. It's a 4.3 inch. And you'll see it's got a nice little sun visor to keep the sun and the glare off of the screen. A single plug connection, which is always appreciated for simplicity. Now, in a wireless deal, you've got to have a transmitter as well as a receiver, of course. So this here is the camera that comes with this kit. And you can see it's got some pretty flexible ways of installing it either on a 90 degree or you can, you know, go straight, which is probably what I'll do in this, this situation. It's got the IR sensors for the night vision as well. And one simple cord, which gets a little crazy at the back, but that's fine. As for the mounting of the monitor, this is pretty easy. This is the easiest part of the job for sure. So here on the back, you can see it's got these little stamped legs where these feet will click in there like that. Then you got this dealy that you can turn. I'm actually gonna go with the windshield mount. I'm just gonna go ahead and Pull this out. Now this cord is really straightforward. It just goes, it only goes in one way. You can't really screw that up. But then you got your 12 volt DC cord with an optional USB. So that's an added bonus too. So that, I'm just plug right in here. Pop that guy in there like so. Installed. And it don't get no easier than that. There's a close-up of how that monitor looks. And it's nice too, you can really get any angle. So if your passenger wants to see it, driver, looks nice, right? You could even do something like this too, if you wanted to. Bring that bad boy right up there, right by your, by your mirror, if you wanted to. I mean, whatever you want to do. You've got plenty of cord here to run this thing out through your pillar. No problemo. So there's a close-up of all the components. There's part of your wireless sender. Manual p antenna. Here's a close-up of the actual camera. Double-sided tape provisions on there and they have this tab which you can choose how you're gonna do the mounting option on the camera. So I think this would be a pretty practical way of doing this camera install. Just like that. Or you could use this tape and you can go inside here and have it up here. Or you can run it in, something like that, and turn it up the other way. Another little interesting thing I noticed here is that there's a, a loop here which you can cut. So if you don't want the grid lines on your camera, you can omit them by cutting that trace right there. I would personally leave it. However, some people might not like it and you can just cut that loop and remove that feature. My camera is here, I'm just going to leave that loose tentatively. On the other end you have your video and you have your power. And you're just going to go color to color. Once you got that, you have this little, I guess, noise filter or I'm not really sure what this is. Then you got your transmitter, which you could, I would zip tie personally. I don't know if I would rely on tape. 3M tape's good, but it's not that good. These guys, you can adjust a little bit to maybe increase the performance. It's a little piece of braided wire in there, I can see it. I'm just going to connect this tentatively onto my rear light bar. So I can go up front and I can cut this on. I can see what the screen looks like in the daytime. And now the screen is on. You can see that there's the grid lines where you have one foot, two foot, three foot. 
That's a wireless signal, by the way. I want to show you something. I'll put this one here in reverse, just to give you an idea. That's my 8-inch factory screen. And there's your aftermarket. And you could also set this back here. There's a menu where you have brightness, which I could turn that up. Contrast, color, language, mode, 16.9. I'll turn that brightness up so it's easy for me. That looks good. That looks really good. I like that. I like the way this unit mounts. I like the size. I like that glare protection. Like I said, that's cool. So if you're looking for an easy to install kit, it does not get much easier than this kit, people. This is pretty easy. This thing took me all of about 20, 25 minutes, and I'm not even like in a hurry today. So this thing is a win. I like it. So if you're looking for a cool product line or something, if you're thinking if this thing is any good or not, trust me, this thing's all right. There's that cigarette lighter, that's what it looks like. It's got that front USB like I was mentioning with the LED that indicates if it's working or not. Cool little feature, like that. I'd also like to make a little note about this camera. It did it before, I don't know how I did it. There's a little sensor on here someplace. Oh, there it is. At nighttime, that's what happens. Look at all those LEDs that pop on. Such a little camera. Look at the little camera with all the lights. Pretty cool, right? 